Hey, what's going on, guys? So, uh, today I was going to go over a couple things. Um, mainly, today's video is going to be about a quick uh, farm for the catalyst for the uh, fourth horseman. If you guys don't already have the fourth horseman, um, this is what it is. It is a, the new exotic shotgun. Um, so basically the catalyst for it is going to uh, give you a, an extra magazine size and it's going to also um, boost up your reload speed which is really important for this weapon. Um, so I don't currently have it but I'm farming uh, a legendary lost sector for it. Apparently there's only a few ways to get it. Uh, I know some people have gotten it from the Seraph Tower event. Uh, I personally um, i am trying to grind it via the legendary lost sectors because I know that that's a way to do it as well so um so yeah just gonna show you a quick and easy way to do that it's been working for me i've been going through clearing the lost sector in about anywhere between a minute to about two minutes a minute and a half to two minutes so yeah uh let's just go over my loadout really quickly uh i am running uh the curated uh malicious birthright and the reason that makes it so good is that it has blinding grenades. Uh, so it's really good for PvE, uh, especially high level content, because it's going to blind a lot of the enemies. Um, Anonymous Autumn, I'm using this for um, anti barrier rounds, where they anti barrier champions. I'm also using it because it is a solar weapon. So it's going to go ahead and help me break those solar shields on the Cabal. Uh, Xenophage, again, same thing, solar. Uh, hard hitting weapons gonna give you those solar break those solar shields uh, I'm using bottom tree hammers with ash and wake to give me those quick nades um, and that you know quick damage sunspots as well help out a lot in this help burn enemies um, yeah it's everything else is pretty much it um, so uh, if you don't have if you don't have malicious birthright there are a couple other options um, you could always run, uh, I don't have it on me right now, but you could always run, um, Martyr's Retribution. Um, that's another good one. And along with a sidearm and the kinetic slot to help you or a sidearm or a submachine gun. Um, but yeah, there's different options. This is just the way I'm going. Um, <clears throat> you could also use, uh, Wendigo. It also has blinding grenades if you don't have. The martyr, the malicious birthright, with the curated rule, you can also run Wendigo, and that's going to have blinding grenades as well. Um, that's going to help blind enemies for you. Also, it's going to do a lot of damage to majors. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead into it. Like I said, the other method you can do is also uh, run through the Seraph Tower event, but you know that's going to run you about anywhere between five to six minutes. Whereas this is extremely quick, and I've kind of worked up a kind of worked up a little strategy I've been using for these guys. Uh, you might see me die a couple times, but it's all good. So we get those nades, we get those sunspots, stay in them to get those nades back. We're gonna go over here. Now there's gonna be a champion that's gonna come. We're not concerned with him. We're gonna spawn this heavy elite frame. Uh, oh, by the way, um, so you kind of want to do this with your bunker maxed out because you're going to get uh, access to these. It's going to make it a hell of a lot easier. Um, the heavy frame as well as the Valkyrie. All right, so he's just going to bomb everything. We're not going to care about that guy. Oh, we're just going to go ahead and run right past this. Sure this is loaded up. All right, so as soon as we get in here, got that knee there. We're gonna spawn these. Shoot up here. Gonna blind those enemies. We're gonna pop that guy's shield. Now there's gonna be several um, champions that spawn. There's one right there. Uh, kind of want to take out that sniper up there. There we go. All right, and he is done. So what you kind of want is the um, the heavy frame to target the boss. Oh, and there he goes. 
We got it. Fourth Horseman Catalyst. Right on video, too. That was great. So, yeah. You kind of want the... You kind of want the heavy frame to target the boss. Or else it's going to make things uh, a lot harder. Because if he tether, if he, if he targets the, um, the champions, it's going to just take a little longer. You're just going to have to wait, resummon him. Um, it could take, you know, up to another two minutes, whatever. But, yeah. So, there you go. A minute and 37 seconds. Um, like I said, um, you want to run something with blinding grenades to help clear out ads, um, run a sidearm or a submachine gun to help break shields or anything that's going to be anti-barrier. Um, Xenophage is good, stuff like that. Um, if you're on a Titan, run Ash and Wake. If you're on a Hunter or Warlock, you know, you can run something else. Bl um, Blade Barrage with Shards of Galinar would be good on a Hunter. Um, you know, Dawn Blade would be good on a, a Warlock. So and there you go. And we just got the Catalyst, boys. Let's go ahead and apply that. Oh, it already is. So now I just got to defeat weapons or defeat enemies with the weapon. Okay, cool. But uh, there you go. So yeah, see you guys in the next one.